Good morning, St. John's. Sure is nice to be here with you today. Scripture is our song for the journey, the living word. Passed on from generation to generation, may it guide and inspire so that we might wrestle a holy revelation from it for our own time and our own place. Amen. Our reading for today is from Paul's letter to the Romans. Selected verses from chapter 8 have been chosen. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. For the whole creation waits with eager, longing for the children of God to be revealed. In this hope we are saved. But hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we, ho if we hope for what we do not have yet, we wait for it patiently. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit herself intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or pearl or sword? No. I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Amen.